guys, it is Raven with Valhalla Gaming, and we are back once again with Planet Zoo. We are going to be moving on to the third uh, mission in career mode, uh, called Bear Essentials Panda Park. Uh, panda Park is Bernard Goodwin's newest zoo, built from the ground up to celebrate the panda in all of its forms. This park represents an unparalleled opportunity to show the world just how much the Goodwin Foundation knows about breeding animals on the cusp of endangerment. So don't squander it. I will try my best. <laughs> we'll definitely, definitely try my best. I haven't really touched this game for uh, really since the last video that I made. Um, so we'll see if I remember the controls. Hopefully. <laughs> Shows camera settings and the settings menu. Wow, who knew? Oh my gosh, look at those little rock figures. <laughs> this looks cool. I like the little um, ah, steps. <laughs> and they're my daughter's favorite animal. Yeah, pandas are pretty cute. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. <laughs> uh, well, that's assuming you ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll take more than a cute bear to knock them off of the top spot. <laughs> yep, cats and dogs have it pretty oh, good. But did you know, thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Amazing! Wow! That said, they're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is Aww, extraordinarily that's a cute figure too. lucky and statue. To be part of that conservation effort. And I'm hoping it really it's like super windy outside. I'm hoping that doesn't pick up that you're on be in charge of maintaining the audio recording. The, uh, There's like trees and leaves too. like slamming around I really outside. Tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh wait, I can't. <gasps> Alligator, a crocodile. Important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps more pressingly. <laughs> The eyes of Nancy are on you too. <laughs> Why are you laughing so much? Welcome Goodness. to China. This are we is actually in China? New panda celebration zoo. So new, in fact, What's that this? it's not quite finished. But we'll deal with that later. What is this? First, this is a bathroom a of the zoo. with trees on it. Weird. Okay. Obviously, what am I the giant for? pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us. We have What's one in here? which was born just a few days ago. Let's go and have a look at it. What are you? Go on. Don't Gar be shy. What? Select the panda cub. I actually don't know what you are. Is that the name of it? A gar... Garial? I don't know what that is. Okay, panda. Okay, panda habitat. Enter giant panda camera. What am I looking for? What panda? Is that a panda? Hello, panda. And click on the camera to enter animal camera mode. Oh, it's a panda. Oh, How do you actually survive in the wild? You heart? look too cute. So cute. Did you know that giant pandas, or Ailuropoda melanoleuca, for being formal, are the Ooh, only very formal. entirely herbivorous bears? They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. <laughs> Not that it's surprising, quite a bit of given that they'll bamboo. spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluff oh, he's running. that kind of appetite yet, though. I don't think that was actually the cub that we were oh, supposed to be looking at. I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat oh, without my. going through quarantine first. Look at- Oh, this is the baby. Lin Lin! Oh. Yes, so cute! To do that, okay, so I'm, look at them the all habitat. munching away. The oh my goodness. Oh, whoa, pack mentality much. That was kind of scary. You need food. Man, they ate all of that super fast. Alright, what are we doing? You? Good. Who? Now click move and then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Is that the only one here? This one? Oh, phew. That's a relief. 
Was that Inhabitants actually the only one in here? Infection from spreading any further. We need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. Yes, I've already he was highlighted the only one. I'd like you to build it. So why don't we head over there? Okay, he can't get out of there, right? <laughs> okay, what? Sorry. Objectives. Locate the highlighted area. What are we In building order here? To build the vet surgery. Click bed. on facilities, staff facilities, and then vet surgeries. Vet surgeries. All right. Oh no. Oh goodness. Oh, this is extremely finicky. Oh my gosh. Okay, now. How do you- this is the rotate. Cool, <laughs> we've done it. <laughs> That's the job. All right. Vet surgeries play a very nope. important role in a zoo, as they're the only places that vets can treat the animals. Once mm -hmm, there's room mm -hmm. for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from quarantine Water and bring treatment. them to the surgery. Seven six seven. Hmm. Yes, diseases can spread really through a like habitat to... quite easily. Especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. As it oh happens, my gosh, get me I out of this building. That one of our water treatment facilities has broken down, and the water in uh -oh. the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. I've highlighted the water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check it out. I'm checking it out. The mechanic is coming. Yep, I Click found the water, the water treatment. treatment facility to bring up its information panel. I have done that. Did I outdo the? <laughs> oh no, the mechanics are repairing it. Good. I thought I got ahead of the tutorial and screwed myself over a little bit. Let's see. Good work. Now that the water treatment facility no. has been repaired, the water will be cleaned up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> you can also use mechanics to repair power facilities, transport rides, spins, benches, signs, and as you already know, Portatello. habitat barriers. Portatellosis. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still a little worried about that. And we have done area, the bronze objectives. So I think we should do some research into it. Doing research I'm into doing a disease that. can help prevent future outbreaks of it. And even if we do have an outbreak, Trouble it'll make the disease much less potent. I'd like you to start okay. some research into bordertalosis. Disease research can be found in vet research, so head over to your research center and get center. one of the vets researching it. I've already done that. Lovely job. Once that research is complete, I expect oh, to send is. that disease packing in no time. Yep, get rid of it. Banish it. Whew. That was a close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> Being researching think just might have a moment. If you hadn't got them into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast thinking there. We had a horrible outbreak of viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. That sounds Although, luckily. <laughs> that was just bad. to me and my wife. <laughs> okay. And finally, assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Just a moment, though. Okay, I can't see when you're in the way. What one is that? Hey, I'm confused. What is that supposed to be? Am I blind? Objectives. In research during just a momento. What what is that? Um Maybe it's the souvenir Great shops. Death. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Because now we're looking at quarantine. What is the good news? Please tell me. It turns out that we're allowed to adopt more giant pandas. Oh no, You're there's going to be more <laughs> three females to help with our breeding program. Even so, I'm sure you know how notoriously difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. 
Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another habitat ready to go. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, mm, we can't that's do that why until we're we've accepted quarantine. them. So open up animal trading and go into the animal reward section. Nice. Just Trans click transfer to animal storage next to each of the pandas, okay. and then they'll be sent there. Mm, I see. So storage is quarantine, Finally, apparently. You can send them from animal oh, storage nope. to quarantine. To do that, just select them in animal storage, then click send to zoo, and then click on the quarantine facility in the zoo. Don't worry, Move. I've highlighted it for you so you can find quarantine. It Move quarantine. Custom. Sh oh. Move and While quarantine. we wait for them to clear quarantine, you should set up their new habitat so they feel at home in there. What I'll also one? need you to bring over one of the male oh. pandas from our other habitat, but because without him, we're not going to have much of a breeding program, are we? <clears throat> so go on, move him over Sorry about and get that. everything set up for your pandas. Move our male into the new panda habitat. Okay, we only have... Oh, there we go. What male do we want to move? Is that you? You have five stars, so yep, let's let's move you. Where are we moving you? Over here. Why do we have two panda exhibits? All right, so we're going to add a feeding station. Food and water, we'll do panda. Oh, that's tiny. Let's see. Where do we wanna put this? Put it up here. Is that a rooster? <laughs> What? What even? Hmm. They have water, so we'll skip on that. Unless it's gonna require us to. Food enrichment. Enrichment. Let's see. Food enrichment. Do a forage box for them. There really isn't a lot of room in here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Is it Z that wrote? Yeah, it's Z. Maybe we can actually... Ugh, but then it's gonna be like... Sure. Is that food enrichment? No, it wasn't! Let's see. Well, this must be... Okay, we have food enrichment, then we need a toy enrichment. Let's give them a rubbing pad. Where to put it, though? There we go. That's not a toy either? Okay. <laughs> Some of these enrichment items are like, that's not a toy? What? E what? I call bull. Block of ice. What is a toy then? Do they want wind chimes? I don't understand what they want. Okay, apparently wind chimes are a toy. Of course. <laughs> Increased terrain welfare to 90%. Terrain. So they need more grass. Short grass. Short grass. It will give you short grass. Happy panda. Make the pandas happy. Get rid of the long grass because they do not like it. Where 
is all the rest of this long grass that they speak of? Oh, there we go. I think that's it. Yeah, that's, that's right there. So now this is perfect. And then we need to increase plants welfare. So nature and plants. What biome is it? Uh, could go by continent. What plants do you guys want? Asia temperate. Okay, that works. Then I also need to get rid of these stupid things that are in here that apparently count. It has a negative of not, wow, <laughs> that stutter though has a negative effect on our panda. Let's see what we can do here. We can give them a beech tree. Do they not like the beech tree? No, they like the beech tree. That's still. F Where are the more like? None of these really seem very Asian-esque to me. Wisteria. Well, that's pretty. I like wisteria. Did that just flip sideways? Uh. Hello. <laughs> Why are those flipped like that? It's better. Oh, wait. I don't like that. <laughs> Darn it! Oh, now it's... Okay, honestly, some of these controls sometimes make, like, no sense. At all. They really don't. Also, this can get exited out of is our panda just like sleeping? Panda is sleeping. Give them many flowers. Why is there not any bamboo? Like, throw in some nettles in here as well. Do a maple tree. Vertical ivy? Is that actually like. This looks terrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. This looks so terrible. Whoa, that's a big tree. It's a very big tree. Sorry about the noise in the background. People are uh, opening and closing doors kind of loudly, unfortunately. The angles of these are so strange. My goodness. if it would let me do it like a normal person what else it's a tiny little holly tree those are cute though let's try and rotate this a little not too bad what else can we do cypress Ah, here's bamboo. This is what I've been looking for. Perfect. I guess that's kind of blocking the view, but... Oh well, they can deal with it. I wonder if that actually, like, considers... Hmm, don't know. Oh well, that one's long! Let's see. Where else can we put bamboos? Can do it like along here. Good news! Oh, Our new female shoot. pandas have been given a clean bill of health. You'd best Good, they're them all into healthy. A new habitat so they can settle in. And I hope Why you can make not their add more? as comfy as possible because animals will only breed if they're money? happy. No. Wait, no, I'm not. All right. Well, their plants are good. 
So we're doing this again. And then we are moving our pandas to our new habitat over yonder. Oh, bless. I think they'll be really happy in there. Fingers crossed we'll see some lovely new cubs sooner rather than later. Right. While they're being delivered, we'd better get on with something else. Oh, dear me. There's never any time to rest when you're running a zoo, is there? Mm, well, no, there is not. Unless you hit the pause button. What is this? Okay, I think it's time to Is there actually a pause? Oh, there pastors. is a pause button. I know. They don't sound as I interesting didn't even realize as the animals, that. but trust me, they're ever so useful. You see... Work zones are a way of making sure that your staff concentrate on specific habitats okay. or tasks within the zoo. So they aren't wandering off elsewhere when it's time to feed the animals or the like. It's definitely helpful. All so right. let's start by creating a new work zone and then assigning a keeper to it so that they know to look after the new pandas. To do that, go into the zoo section, then click on staff and then work zones. Staff. Work now, zone. click on new work zone. New work zone. To set up your new work zone, I'll need you to select the highlighted habitat gate, staff room, and keeper hut. Oh, and don't forget oh, okay. to name it something useful. <laughs> Once you're done, just go ahead and exit the work zone creator. I think that's including everything. Uh... Yeah. Work zone 10. Include keeper hut and staff room. I don't think that actually worked. Let me see the work zones again. Work zone 10. Yeah, I don't think that worked. Transformer, small keeper hut. Why is the staff room not? There we go. All right, now we're good. And then we have to hire and assign a zookeeper. Then click on your new keeper to bring Oops. up the information panel and go to their employment tab. Okay. At the bottom, you can assign them to your new work zone from the drop-down menu. We've done it. We've done the thing. Do we actually have to... Yeah. Okay, there we go. Right, I believe that should be good. I I did it. Why did it not go? So where did that keeper go? Ugh, oh, my goodness. Why? This is the one who I just hired. So it was work zone 10. I, I did it. Why did the thing not go? Oh well. <laughs> well, I'll figure that out. But that is all the time that I have for today, you guys. I'm trying to find a panda. Here's a panda. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Give me the panda. No. Oh, what the heck. There we go. It's a panda. <laughs> But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Um, I will see you all next time when we finish up the last um, gold star, I believe. The gold objectives for this little career mode campaign. Anyway, thank you guys. I'll see you all next time. Bye.